I wanted to show you how to generate a report that has a hyperlink within the details of the report that would link to other parts of the report. Um, this is sometimes also used in what they call traffic lighting, but the report is a, a master detail where the initial data set here uh, has a value where the link um, can act as a, a drill down to the details. In this example, it's just a, a list of all the sub parts of the report. So if I click here, it jumps down to another part of the report. So if you were to scroll back up, essentially this link goes down to this part of the report. Um, so that's interesting, but what's more important is the values of the report also have drill downs. So this could be a lot of different um, values, and so you don't want to do it manually. You want to do it programmatically depending on what those values are. So in this case, this example shows a coded dictionary. And this is the name of the coded dictionary. For example, 2 equals death. And then um, if I wanted to see all the other coded values for this um, control terminology, I can click on that term. And in this case, it shows me that all the coded terms for this particular dictionary, one is disease, two is death, and so forth, um, you can see all of them here. Essentially, it's all part of one long report. So if I were to scroll back up, I can see that um, here. But then uh, the nice thing about it is that you can drill down to the details. This is an example report where we're comparing a user-defined dictionary to CDIS dictionary. And when there's a match in this example, death, uh, this is part of the thesaurus QA, this QA product, but macro. But if you were to drill down on um, the coded terms of CDISC, you know, they have death, but then they have a lot of other decoded um, within that same dictionary. But then the matching death in this example is, um, let me go back, is, is actually a number. So from this study, you can change the numbers to match the CDISC. But let me show you how to program that. Um, the initial type of linking, as I mentioned, is a simple details to the bottom of the report. So these are fixed because there's only a fixed amount of report portions to this program. So if I go to the code, I'll search for that particular um, logic here. So that logic is not that sophisticated because I took the original text here and then um, I knew exactly what the, let me zoom in so you can see, I knew the exact name of the, um, the report name. So in that case, um, it just I just created a, a value with an href, that's an HTML tag, where um, it highlights the the text details, as you can look at the right here, and then it will create a hyperlink to this named location within the report. So if we go back to the report, this um, is the name location, uh, this, this detail here will be highlighted with that name location link. So that's a fixed type of linking. The other type is a little bit more challenging, which I wanted to show you is when it's more data driven. And in that example, um, so let me scroll down. So in this example, it is actually part of a variable. So the, let me zoom in to show you. The original variable is um, has the the variable name. I call it um, s name here. So the s name variable contains those values. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to depending on what the value is. Um, I'm going to create a new variable called snamel for linking that will uh, wrap that around an href link. So what that's doing is it's allowing me to create a hyperlink for each one of those values. And the value, the linking logic will have part of the value as part of the linking. So each link is unique. And then later on, when I create the um, so as you can see here, back at our report, each one of these values here, a little bit to the left, so each one of these values have a hyperlink, and each hyperlink is unique. So when I generate the detailed report, I have to use that same name. 
So if I go down to the report part that has um, that hyperlinking, I call it um, details source in this case uh, to start out the linking. So if I search for that in my code, so source, uh, I can see the, the um, it was an S I think, I can see that details, let me search for that again, details source. Okay, so I can see here that um, when I generate those detailed reports, what I'm going to do is as the title of the report, I'm going to uh, put in that same um, bookmark, sometimes named anchor, but the bookmark as to where those hyperlinking is going to jump to. So going back to the report, if I were to click on this link here, it would jump down to this detailed report, but the actual um, bookmark that it's jumping to is coded directly into this title here. So if I go back to the code, this is programmed directly into the title. And each time it does this report, each report has a unique title name because it's driven by the value of uh, the data. So that's how I'm able to create multiple reports like these, each one for each set of uh, dictionary in this example. So um, I can then link to any of the specific dictionary names uh, for example, for the AE out, it has the word ongoing, and uh, all the other related coded terms are uh, displayed as well in the detail. So this is a very powerful, useful way of allowing you to navigate through the report where you have a list of values, and then each one of the values could potentially link to its own details. In this case, it's a dictionary name, code list name, and then all their codes and decodes are the, the details of that report. So uh, hopefully that helps you generate a lot of uh, internal linking within one big HTML file for navigating through your reports.